Hello and welcome to this video demonstration where I will show you how to configure the Borosan RTU32 running as a DMP3 client. First I'll start by opening the Straton Workbench. I'll then add a new project, select where to save it and I'll call my project DMP3 client. I'll use the structure text and a release build and then type in the IP address of the RTU32 running as a DMP3 client. So in order to add the DMP3 client I'll open the Fieldbus configurator then right click insert configuration then I'll find my DMP3 master. Insert master board. And Ethernet and the then I have to type in the IP address of the DMP3 server. Like this. So now I can start by configuring my slave data. First I'll call my session 1, the master address and the other station is 3, then just keep alive. Now I can start by adding the different data points. Insert variable. First I'll start by making a local remote. It's a data exchange binary input point number 1. Now Starting will automatically create the variable for me. It's a boolean and will be put in the global variables. So this is okay. So now I'll add the next one. Door switch. Binary input also. Point number two. Boolean again. Insert variable. AC supply. Monitor point three DC supply monitor point four. The next one is a valve position, valve position, and this is a double input and we'll call this 2001 and because it's a double I'll select the unsigned small integer. Now I will add a flow which is a, an analog input point number 4001 and this is an unsigned integer and a temperature analog input 4002 like this unsigned integer and then I'll have a command we'll call it output it's a Binary output status, call this 3001. So, and this is a Boolean. Okay. Now I've put in all my data points, then I'll just add the code for sending a command to the server. This is done by opening the main program, then, uh, then expand the block dmp3 master. Here we have a command called dmp3m underscore command bin issue a binary command. So I'll just add a variable called command and it is of the type dmp3 command Bin. So now I can write command and I will have a 
variable called activate, which is actually activating this command block. The next parameter is the session ID. It's one, as you will see here. Session. The next one is the point number. In this case, 3001. You'll see here. And the next one parameters is the function code. You will use the direct operate without acknowledgement. And then we'll use the control pulse on. So like this. And the next parameter for this function is the qualifier, and we'll use the 16-bit index. Now I have to specify the pulse on and the pulse off time. So we have 500 milliseconds, for example, 250 milliseconds. So what I need to do now is to add the activate just so I'm able to test my function, then I can compile and then download stop the current application running download the new one so now I'll go to my drivers here I can see all the variables from my device then I'll try changing the analog value on my DMP3 server see if I receive the events See, flow changing, then the local remote, yes, the door switch, the valve position, the AC supply, and the DC supply. So everything is working as configured. This was all for now. Bye.